So, we know all about global warming and climate change. And if we don't do something soon, we'll continue to have major problems like heat waves, drought, and rising sea levels that'll destroy our environment permanently. And we also know that 73% of our GHG emissions are produced by the energy and transportation sectors. So, the solution actually seems pretty simple. We switch to solar energy, we put in some batteries, and we all get electric vehicles. And we're pretty much good to go, right? Yeah, not quite. Hooking up all of these devices to the grid causes a lot of issues for electric utilities and can even overload the grid to the point of collapse. Here's some modeling we did to represent the energy profile of an all-electric home. Notice how spiky this profile is? And the peak demand is almost four and a half times higher than the average home of today. That's caused by us charging our electric vehicles at nighttime when the prices are lowest. Which means to handle that increase in peak demand, we'll need billions of dollars to upgrade the grid's capacity. And that kind of cash flow is hard to get. Unless we get creative with concepts like transactive energy, which rely on utilities incentivizing device owners to shift their usage habits just a little bit so we avoid overloading the grid at peak time. And we can gamify the whole thing by supporting peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, which enables device owners to buy energy from their neighbors using their discretion. This increases the utilization of local renewable energy and reduces that peak demand. One problem though, how does anyone really trust this system? Who's in charge? And how do we make sure the system is fair for everyone? That's where blockchains come in, which are a distributed and shared ledger of transactions that automatically maintain checks and balances for everyone within a network. All these transactions are validated by everyone in the network. So there's no concept of a single central person in charge. We're all in this together. So our project team went out and implemented this system at the Courtright Center microgrid, located in Vaughan, Ontario. And the results were pretty cool. First, we modeled a community of eight electric homes and simulated its energy profile with and without the trading system. The trading system cut the peak demand by 52% while increasing the utilization of solar energy by 24%. Using that peak demand, we did a financial assessment on 10 utilities in Ontario and found that we could potentially save these utilities an average of $57 million by not needing to upgrade their grid capacity. Then we deployed our system to the microgrid and were able to demonstrate real-time energy trading between solar, electric loads, and vehicles. So we minimized the amount of energy needed from the main grid. So as you can see, a smarter and more sustainable grid is going to require some teamwork from all of us. And we'll get there. Until then, we'll continue to take the fight to climate change. For more information and cool videos of other projects we've done, check out the description box below. Or you can send us a message at shivam at heroeng.ca. Thanks!